In the 21st century, 3D printing has become commonplace. Nowadays, few people remember that the first object printed using this innovative technology was a toy toad. Almost 40 years have passed since then, and during this period of time, engineers have learned to create amazing things using the capabilities of 3D printing. A huge three-story mansion in Germany, an eco-settlement in Mexico, and even private houses whose cost tends to zero. Welcome to the Innovative Text Channel. Learn how construction 3D printing is changing our world right now. But before we get started, make sure you don't forget to press the bell as well as subscribe to the channel, as there are hundreds of interesting videos to be watched. Let's get started. <laughs> 3D printing originated in the early 80s, when progressive minds like Dr. Hideo Kodama and Alain de Lemahau became interested in this technology. What a difference of four years! The aforementioned people managed to develop a technology for rapid prototyping using laser stereolithography. Objects were literally grown from liquid photopolymers. It is all the more surprising that none of them could fully appreciate the prospects of this method. It was only in 1986 that a person was found who not only saw an endless future in the device for 3D printing, he developed but also patented his invention. Thanks to this decision, engineer and businessman Chuck Hall got into the U.S. National Inventors Hall of Fame, and his company, 3D Systems, is still working and flourishing. In those days, volumetric printing took a long time, and in general, it worked according to a completely different principle. Since the prototype was not created layer by layer, but was grown from a liquid mass, the 3D printing technology familiar to us, or as it is officially called, Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM, was born in 1988. That year, aeronautical engineer Scott Crump figured out how to shorten prototyping times. To do this, he needed a hot glue gun, a mixture of wax and polyethylene, and a desire to create a toy for his daughter. The first object created with the next generation of additive technology was a very small toad printed by Scott. Funnily enough, hot glue guns are the forefathers of all 3D printers. The experiment succeeded and Crump opened the famous Stratasys company a year later. In 1991, the firm released the world's first industrial 3D printer, marking the beginning of a technological revolution. When did we start thinking about using the possibilities of 3D printing and construction? As soon as the Stratasys machines appeared. Engineers all around the world were interested in layering technology, because the idea of growing buildings seemed very promising. However, the capabilities of the first devices were severely limited, and the technologies of that time could not fully realize the potential of the new development. This took two decades to happen. The first house, printed by an experimental Chinese apparatus, was made only in 2014. Many people remember the videos where the huge printers of the Shanghai Wind Sun Decoration Design Engineering Company built 10 identical buildings. The construction of each of them cost only $4.5,000. A year later, the company organized an exhibition of residential buildings printed with 3D printers. One of them had five floors and looked like a large townhouse. SWDDE devices could erect buildings up to 6.4 meters high, 9.75 meters wide, and 152.4 meters long, and used waste from concrete, bricks, steel, and even glass as building materials. Seven years have passed since then, and right now the additive technology of building construction is on the verge of a new evolutionary leap. Mass-produced homes that are not only affordable for the average person in the United States, Canada, or Europe, but can offer their owner undeniable benefits. After a series of trials and experiments, construction companies are ready to change our world beyond recognition and create residential communities of the future. One of the industry's leaders is Icon Startup, which this year entered the list of the most innovative companies in the world. In 2018, the firm was the first in the United States to receive a 3D printing permit to build houses. The first example of a compact private home was created in Austin, Texas. It was manufactured with a Vulcan printer, which combines the capabilities of robotics, programming, and advanced building materials. 
The technique uses the lava crete cement lime compound as the main mixture. Released in 2019, Vulcan 2 was intended not only to build houses, but to do it for the benefit of impoverished people. In partnership with nonprofit organizations, Icon has launched a project to print 3D residential buildings for the homeless. Community First Village is an entire neighborhood that is supposed to accommodate 40% of Austin's underprivileged people. Such housing has everything you need, including a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, a convenient kitchen, and a small terrace. Moreover, CFE is not the only project with such a goal, because alongside is Icon, building an entire 3D village in Mexico. Five dozen houses with an area of 45 square meters, were planned to be completed at the end of 2020, but the global epidemic has made drastic changes to the work schedule. It's worth noting that such a house costs half the price of housing built using outdated construction technologies. Icon representatives are confident of success and want to change the world by giving housing to everyone in need. Another interesting project that can have huge impact on our lives is the Cobod BOD2 construction printer created by specialists from the Mensa Corte architectural firm and the Perry Company. The local inventors not only built the first house in Germany using additive technologies, but also created the fastest printer in the world. It is capable of layering the special mix at a maximum speed of 100 centimeters per minute. For the record, this is equivalent to 10 tons of concrete per hour. Since the Cobod BOD2 is a modular device, the construction site can be easily expanded to the required size. The three-story apartment building being built by German specialists should not only showcase the impressive capabilities of the printer, but also reveal the other side of 3D printing houses. We are talking about automated design systems that act as an interface that can link together the requirements of engineers and the capabilities of innovative construction technology. The five apartment building is designed to prove that the complex all planned software brings additive technologies to a previously unattainable level. The idea is that building a single family home is not a bad achievement, but the market needs to mass produce housing. Apparatuses like the Cobod BOD2 have learned how to make high rise buildings with dozens or even hundreds of apartments. And if the two previous projects did not convince you of the prospects for 3D printing, then how about creating an entire settlement where the cost of building goes to zero? This is what WASP specialists are doing now. They have created a unique crane construction printer that is unlike any other machine in its class. At a cost of a printer of 132,000 euros, this machine can build houses that resemble WASP honeycombs. But the key point is that the local soil is used as a building material. The technical documentation states raw earth-based materials, mortars of cement, and geopolymers. In other words, the company intends to build such houses from the soil at hand. When we remove the cost of the main building material from the estimate, we significantly reduce the cost of constructing buildings. Add green manufacturing, an electric 3D printer, and you've got residential homes with a zero-cost price tag. Granted, we are dealing with a figurative expression, but the very essence does not change from this. The WASP project, like other companies working in the field of construction 3D printing technologies, is trying to prove that it is high time humanity switched to fundamentally new technologies for building houses. Highly scalable tools that are cheap and highly efficient when it comes to mass production. And construction 3D printers are ready to take this place. What do you think about the construction 3D printing? And which project did you like the most? Please share your opinion in the comments below the video, as well as don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press thumbs up if you enjoyed that very video. You're on the Innovative Techs channel. See you soon. Take care.